yourself, Mr. David. <laughs> Ice road caravanning. <laughs> no Santa's list. <laughs> The first day was, I say only, it was only from Millbrook to Bruges. So it's a relatively short day in the grand scheme of things. Hi, I'm Simon Howard. I'm the marketing director at Bailey of Bristol. And we're here at Millbrook Proving Ground today in Northampton. It's Wednesday, March 2nd, nine o'clock, and we're about to set off on our Arctic adventure. So we left the Euro Tunnel earlier and we've traveled through France and Belgium. We've done about uh, 317 kilometers in total today. We're at Klein Strand now in Belgium. Uh, this is gonna be our first night in the caravan, first of many. So we're gonna get all comfy and settled in. Second day was a bit longer. Uh, mammoth day today, we've gone from uh, Bruges and Belgium and we're heading to Berlin. We're probably an hour and a half away, which is good. Um, mileage for today has been about 510, uh, I guess. Breakfast and lunch uh, seems like a lifetime ago. We, we left the campsite at seven o'clock and we stopped for breakfast just outside Antwerp. Uh, we've been trying to swap drivers every couple of hours and we're only an hour and a half away from Berlin now and uh, yeah, looking forward to something to eat. Day three, was that Poland? Poland yeah. yeah, Poland started off well. We ended up in the beautiful historic town of Torun. Torun, yes, lovely. If you've never been, go to Torun. Fantastic, the site was just by the bridge, walk across the bridge, into town. Yeah, great city. Great city, beer yeah. and dumplings. Yes, uh, what yeah. more could you want, really? Indeed, indeed. Uh, and then from there, uh, we carried on up through Poland. Again, another long day's driving. Uh, through slow roads in Poland. Uh, the mm. highlight of that day probably was the fantastic lunch we had with Martin Dory. We found a great lay-by by a frozen lake in Poland and the team had a really good time there. Now this is the first sign we've had that it's getting colder. Yesterday was a, a rather tropical 16 degrees, but now we've come to a, a, a semi-frozen lake. I'm certainly not gonna go any further, but the ice is probably about this thick and enough for me to get about six feet out from the bank. And Martin is gonna cook us lunch. So he's in the motorhome now and he's changed the view of his kitchen window to this. We started somewhere in Poland and we're still somewhere in Poland and we're going to somewhere not in Poland today. Um, we're going to Vilnius today. It's probably easier and healthier for everybody and better for their well-being if I actually try and cook on a quick break and hopefully everyone will, will be able to eat really well and be very happy continuing on.
So we didn't have time to see Vilnius because we were then on the road at 7 the following seven. morning. Four countries in one day. Lithuania, Latvia. Yeah, Latvia was memorable. Remember, Latvia was our first uh, experience of icy or Arctic conditions, uh, very icy roads, high, high cross winds, which meant driving was, was potentially quite hazardous. Yes. And, uh, yeah. There was a couple of wobbles with the, the caravans there and we were fearing the worst, but uh, yeah. it cle soon cleared up. Welcome to Latvia on Sea. Here we are on the Baltic coast behind us. Uh, we got our first taste of the Arctic today um, across the Latvian border, which was very cold, icy, frosty. And as you can see here, we're standing on a ridge of ice on the beach. Um, we're setting off again now, heading north, and we'll be in Finland by this evening. Finland, here we come. Part two of our adventure will take us all the way through Finland to the extremes of the Arctic. We'll try to get ourselves on Santa's good list and cross treacherous ice roads as we take the convoy way beyond the Arctic Circle to the Ibalo test track. When we're there, we'll see just how capable these vehicles, and hopefully we, really are. <laughs> 